Britain's number one film favourite comes back after a hard day in the studios to his lovely home at Sarratt in Hertfordshire. In the ten years since he got his first part, he's risen to be a big box office attraction. And the odd thing is that he gained his popularity mainly by playing villains. His wife is Pamela Colino, the novelist, and his name is, of course, James Mason. Before they can settle down to chat about the things that have happened during the day, there's one very important job that has to be attended to in the Mason household every evening. Wherever they go, one of their cats is sure to follow. This is Lady Leeds, but she doesn't venture far. A normal sized bird's one thing, but when it comes to giants, a wise cat gives up. Intelligent creatures, geese, understand every word you say to them and do just the opposite. Of course, if it gives you any satisfaction, you could always say boo to them, but where does it get you? So they leave the geese to their dinner while he runs through one of the scenes from the day's filming. And Pamela gets a free preview of something the fans will pay to see. James Mason knocking out the other guy. Tree, the Siamese, another of their four cats, disapproves of all this moving about. Why can't they leave a chap in peace, like his friend Whitey Thompson? A novelist's work is never done. When an idea comes into her head, she has to get it down right away before it's lost forever. And while she's at it, her husband rattles off one of those lightning sketches that he's always scribbling on the backs of his script in the film studio. Let's hope that James Mason's fans don't all demand sketches as well as autographs.